Hey guys, welcome back to this episode of the vlog. My name's Dan. Hi, I'm Allie. And we're really excited to share with you guys today a fun episode about our three favorite things, crucial things about why van life in sunny, beautiful Mexico is an incredible experience. Right, babe? What do you think? Yeah. We love it here and we're going to share with you our favorite parts. We're gonna give you guys our top three reasons of why we keep coming down here and hopefully that can inspire you um, if you have a van or you wanna get into a van one day to come check out Mexico in your van. Dan's such a dork, but wait till you see him in the, his best vlogging shirt. Okay, here we go, finding my shirt. Babe, why don't you take over the camera? <sighs> so, I don't usually bring this shirt out, but because it's our Sunday vlog, because it's a fun day, because we're trying to inspire people to come down here and do what we're doing, I wanted to put on my best vlogging shirt and I'm going with no buttons today. So we need to just get right into this vlog and I don't know any better way to do it than this. Let's go. You're gonna notice that this is gonna be a really high energy, high intensity vlog. Um, I currently have no buttons buttoned. I have nipples out. It's sun's out, guns out Saturday. So we're really excited to film this vlog for you guys. Babe, what are you thinking at this exact moment? You are the biggest freak I know. <laughs> I am so excited. It's a typical Saturday here. We got up, did our workout. You can see Huck loves to go on runs with me and the wind is picking up. So we're gonna hang around, do some of our favorite things, and then get out on the water. Okay, gang, so one thing we did wanna clarify is that we're talking about Baja California, the Baja California Peninsula, specifically Baja California Sur, which is the southern half of the Baja Peninsula, because we don't want this to get confused with mainland Mexico, which I'm sure is incredible as well, but I personally haven't driven it, have you? I've not driven it either, maybe one day we will. Maybe one day we will. Stay tuned, like, and subscribe. <laughs> this is all about Baja and why, because it's so easy for US citizens and Canadians to access, we wanna inspire you guys to come to this specific part of Mexico. So let's continue onward. Sometimes I just put the camera right in Allie's face and just see what happens. And that's usually when I get some of the best vlog content out of her. But sometimes she's just in such a chill state that she's just, taking it all in you're just in the moment which I love and and in those moments it's just it's just looking at a beautiful woman as I vlog really um. Um. Abercrombie and Fitch in 2000. <laughs> More like Abercrombie and vlogger. <laughs> All right. Guys, one of my favorite things about Mexico is there are no rules. I don't know about you, but I hate being told what to do, when, when and where I can do it. And here we don't get hassled. It's just this carefree lifestyle. We get to do whatever we want, whenever we want. Obviously we're respectful of people and their property and things like that, but we love it here. So like Ali was saying, we're literally just parked up 100 feet off the water right now. And the reason that we're here is because we're allowed to just kind of come down on the beach and make, our, make a space for ourselves. One of the best things about Mexico that you don't get in the US is in the US there's tons of signs. There's people watching out for vans. There's people, uh, you have to pay for everything. Down here it's just quite the opposite. And so it makes van life so simple in Baja to be in a van and living your, really your best life. We truly, that's one of the main reasons that we come down here. Uh, technically we did get kicked out of the beach like up there, but we don't even know. We probably could have gone and literally bribed the cops to um, not hassle us. That was actually just like a note from a neighbor and we did want to be respectful for them, which is why we moved. When it comes to things like parking your van up for the night, finding a place to stay, 
you just really can't beat Baja for this. Um, even if you drive from the U.S. border all the way down to the southern tip of Baja, there are endless places that you can stay by literally just pulling off the road and you're gonna get a view that would be, you know, what I would consider a million dollar view. And down here at our little beachfront town or our little beach town where it gets really windy, which we love, we don't have to struggle for places to stay. We don't have to spend a ton of money on housing or um, really anything. And we're gonna show you guys more of that in this coming episode. But being able to post up in your van like we do all day long, on the beach, feeling the breeze, smelling the salt water. It's such a great feeling. Is my hair better today for you? Much better. Guys, how, how good does Dan look today? <laughs> look, one I, out of 10, I'd give you a 10. Oh my gosh, 10 out of 10. You give me a one out of 10 or a 10 out of 10? 10, I'll give you a 10. Wow, okay, big score for me. Ten, I'm getting 10 out of 10s. I'm being recognized um, for looking human, so that's really good. I think we should move on to our next situation. I told Allie to drive away for um, some B-reel shots and she's literally driving away and not coming back, so. Coming to see you. I'll button my shirt up. Please wait. Hey, 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 come on, babe. I'll button it up. You stop for me. That makes me feel good. That's like, um, that's really sweet. That's good for me. A few moments later. I lied, not buttoning up. Nipples are staying out. <laughs> Free flowing, get the breeze in there. <laughs> get their hairy nipples. Oh, they're hairy, all right. <laughs> So not only can you park at the beach, um, and there's plenty of beach parking, you can go up into the hills, whether it's down here in southern Baja or really anywhere on the peninsula, and you can find yourself an absolutely stunning view. Um, as you can see right here, we've been up in the hills many a time, parked, hung out all day, usually in the evening when it's shady, and um, but also sometimes during the afternoon when we want to catch a nice view. So. It goes both ways here. It's not all beachfronts and cervezas and fresh fish. It's also elevation gain and good views up there too. Okay, so our favorite part about living in Baja is the ability, the ease and ability to be able to park anywhere you want and kind of just do whatever you want. Um, our second thing that is just as important is the access to absolutely everything. One thing in the U.S. as we've been traveling the last couple of months throughout the U.S. on our mountain bike tour before we got here is that we had to really search a lot of times for just fresh water to fill up. You can't really buy it like you can down here. Um, things like getting your laundry done. You almost like need people that you know in certain areas to really get those, those crucial things done with ease. Whereas down here... Um, it's a part of the economy. It's a part of like ev people's everyday lives. And so all those businesses are A, they're affordable, but B, they're everywhere. And so and it just really, makes van life so much easier. Am I right? And you're really supporting the local economy because these are just people who live here on this small dirt road who are making this all happen. Like I had cushions made for the back of the van last year. Um, we can just do any mechanical work. It's like we almost could just wait until we get back down here next year. Anything you could need is actually here in this small community. Yeah, and that's true for all over Mexico. So I'm gonna show you guys a few of those right now. Let's do it. <laughs> Dan, you could probably cut the laugh. I think we're, we've all heard it enough. Right. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, total bien. <laughs> Shoot. So not five minutes off our beachfront property is Epic Hardware Store. That's where Allie goes and gets stuff to fix the things I break in the van. Um, right over here is a lavenderia, which is the laundromat basically. And not only just a laundromat, it's a woman who has been here probably a long time, who does your laundry for you, dries it under the sun, and then folds it all for you for maybe two, three dollars a load. So it's extremely affordable. And as you can see, the beach is right there. So it's literally right off the main road. That's the main road right there. So that stuff's really convenient. And this hardware store is actually really well stocked. I've gotten 
stuff to fix the drone there, if you can believe that. Onward! I hope you didn't screw that scene up. I didn't, I wasn't there to supervise. I think I did good for you. I almost got a cramp holding my laugh back. <laughs> Shoot. So we're gonna show you guys a couple more of the crucial amenities and these, again, these things are really hard to get in the, in the States, but as you can see, Allie has taken over driving. Um, we share these tasks, we're a very good team. Am I right, babe? Back me up on that statement. We are a great team, but you do 99% of the driving. Oh, there's our Pescateria that we showed the other day. Yeah. Um, you do 99% of the driving, but not out of any other reason besides that you just like to, don't you? Very true, and that Pescadaria is a extremely affordable fish shop with like three or four different kinds of fish. They change it out all the time. It's just unbelievable. I mean, well, unbelievable. And it's great for me because that's really the only kind of real protein that I eat. Okay guys, so the second thing, and I mean for us has been a saving grace, is the mechanic Aiden. He's right there. He's probably like... He's looking at us to see if we're going to pull in again. He sees, the ca he sees his cash cow coming in. No, I think he's very honest and affordable. So that is another amenity right off the dirt road. I mean, he'll pretty much, if you bring him an idea, he'll pretty much do anything. This, there's no stress of making an appointment and like going through all, you know, feeling like you might be getting scammed like in the U.S. or that you're getting taken advantage of because you're at the mechanic. It just everything feels a little more honest down here. I, I will say that. It's such a small community, you can't really lie or rip people off because word will get around and people will stop using your services. Um, you're pretty much going to spend a lot of your time in these smaller communities, which is really good. It looks like, babe, that you've gotten us lost. Can you give us a situation on your driving? No, it's just a road we've never gone down before. I don't think we're lost. I am going to turn right here. We have a pharmacia, vet clinic. Got huck some eye drops there. You gonna wear that shirt like that all day? Probably not. <laughs> Sorry, we're vlogging. No, it's okay. It's a perfect place to vlog, so go ahead. <laughs> There's a lot of fresh fruit to vlog yeah. in here, and we love it. I'm a very respectful vlogger. I mean, you guys know that. And I always feel the need, if someone sees me vlogging, I always feel the need to apologize. Um, probably don't necessarily need to do that, but I don't know, it's just kind of a thing I do, I guess. We'll see how long, I guess maybe I need to get better at vlogging. Do you like these little bananas? Sure do. What are you getting? A lot of bananas. I'm gonna make a salad, so I thought I'd add a pepper. <laughs> okay, I'm literally being ditched again by the love of my life of shooting B Reel. I'll take the shirt off. Oh my gosh, we're supposed to be a team of vloggers and like. She's given Huck my seat in the van. I let her drive for two seconds. Ugh. I'm gonna have to have a talking with her. What in the Sam Tarn heck was that? You literally ditched me. We're supposed to be significant others. I told my grandma how much I, I meant you meant to me. What, what are you thinking right now? You're just so fun to mess with. <laughs> <laughs> Filling up your water in the States can be, it's fine, it's doable, but it's super easy and inexpensive here. Most towns have these little filtered water stations and it costs us $1.75 to fill up the tank, which we do once or twice a week, once a week. Yeah, you guys have seen us do that before where we grab the hose, we plug it into our little um, water insert thing, and it takes under 60 seconds and we pay 36 pesos, which like Ali said, $1.75. And then we're out the door. Um, they're open till 3 p.m. every day, but it is a huge pain in the butt to find water in the U.S. without like having to go and ask. It's good water. Yeah, it's good drinking water, obviously. 
So um, this is one of those amenities that when you're in Baja, or Mexico in general, I assume, this is something that just makes your life so much easier. And it's another reason that we love to be down here in our van and makes our van living so much more enjoyable yeah. and comfortable. Okay, onward. <laughs> So there are garbage and recycle programs here um, in our little community. I'm sure there are in others as well, but there's a no mas basura, which is no more garbage. Um, and they use basura. all the plastic. What? Basura. Okay. I don't have the accent. And they collect all the plastic bottles and stuff like that and take care of them and have projects for them, um, which is great. There's also a propane guy that drives around every morning in a, in a truck and he plays music and he drives around town. So if you need your propane filled, that's super easy. Okay, I'm loving the role reversal right now. Allie in the driver's seat. That was our second big reason of why you should consider van life in Baja, California. It is the ease, the access to amenities that make van life so, so easy. It's almost like it was built for van life. It really was. Um, and it's just part of the economy, like Ali said, so that's really, really cool. It's one thing we love. The third and final thing, and this is actually a really important one, we get this a lot in the comment section, so it'll be good to talk about this now, is that we literally feel safer here than we do in the U.S. a lot of times. I would say in almost in every cities, situation. In the U.S., we've had so many instances where people have tried to steal the bikes right off the back of our van, you know, one time at 7 p.m., another time at like 2 a.m., there's just a lot of times where, you know, like we were in a place where there was a double homicide. A lot of people heard about that in Moab and the, the person was never caught and like stuff like that just does not happen down here. Um, a, we spend our time in small communities. We recommend that for you guys, right, babe? But why do you feel so safe down here? I, every, it feels like everybody's kind of looking out for each other. It doesn't feel like anybody's trying to get ahead. Whereas I feel like in the U.S. there's like thieves and things like that because people are just trying to get ahead especially in big cities we feel safe when we park at night we never lock the van we let our dogs roam free we know nothing is gonna happen to them I don't feel nervous about getting sick we, there's always filtered water I just think some of the myths about Mexico are really not true at least here in Baja really good point I just want to point out to you guys here we're actually right in front of the police station. You can see it's right there. And there's no cars there right now because there's usually a couple um, Policia Misunupal, Municinapal, something like that. I'm butchering the Policia cars <laughs> that are, and they're out patrolling. We just passed one now. So um, there's just a sense of community here, and, and um, the police don't hassle you. They are there to basically resolve disputes, which I've seen that happen multiple times. Um, and it's all done really well. Now, the one thing I will say is if you do get something stolen, and not that this is much different in the US, but it's unlikely that they're gonna find it for you, so. Okay, babe, you're signaling to me that you have one more. You're a really thorough vlogger. Why don't you tell us exactly what that is right now? Well, I just think the cops here are, they're not pulling you over for like petty things like not wearing your seatbelt and crap like that. They actually are taking care of the community and they're doing good things. Now, what will happen in a lot of instances, if there's something that, let's say someone gets arrested, which I almost never see, but if that were to happen, that person would actually be taken to La Paz to kind of the main police station, I guess. Kind of everything runs around the nearest main city here is at least what I've gathered, I think. So when something happens here, the police do uh, processing in La Paz, which is about a 45 minute drive from here. So that's kind of interesting. And I think another thing to add is that they see how much we boost their economy. So they're actually working with us, not against us. I think, you know, the locals and the police and things like that, people understand the benefit of having Americans down here and Canadians. They want to protect the economy. They want to protect the, the good, hardworking citizens. Um, and so like they kind of deal with things, in, you know, a different way than we're used to up in the States. And in a lot of ways, it's a lot more effective in terms of deterring crime. And you can see what's happening in a lot of places in the US now. And I don't know, there's something to be said about the way things work down here.
So another thing when it comes to safety is we literally hitchhike up and down this main road when we want to go kite at a certain beach and then ride our kites down to our, um, our van if it's parked at another beach. Or we hitchhike after kiting down, we hitchhike back up to our van. And I mean, far and above, the most amount of times we get picked up is by local Mexican people that are just driving this road either to go home or go back to La Paz. You know, I would say eight out of 10 are local Mexican people that pick us up and say, it, it takes maybe two seconds. It's, they're always friendly. <laughs> Sometimes they're having the old cerveza after work. So it's, it's a lot of, it's just, it's such a good culture. It's such a good people here. Um, it's one of the main attractions that brings me down here. And then when you combine that with van life, it's just, it's almost like the ideal situation. I really do think that. Well, I think I've hitchhiked in like four or five different countries, but I would never hitchhike in the United States. For sure. <laughs> you the best part of the drive here in town it's where you start to descend from the hill down towards what's called South Beach so here we go it's right here okay guys I love that shot I love that drive I love vlogging with Allie um, did get ditched multiple times today by the love of my life. Still processing that, babe. You wanted to see the propane truck? Here it is, vlog. This is happening right now. He's not playing music for us, but I want to show you guys. I just made a new amigo. I gave that gentleman a, a kind of a, a fist to say, you sell the best propane in town. Um, he had the music going. That's how you, you know, like the water guy's coming around, the propane guy's coming around, somebody's selling miscellaneous, miscellaneous items. Um, they play music and let you know they're coming around. So, so many great things about this place. We thought this was a really important video to make, didn't we, babe? Definitely. Hope that it eases some of your concerns and it encourages a few of you to plan a trip down here. Thank you guys so much for coming along on this vlog today. We were. Really excited to do a Sunday special vlog and a Saturday special vlog for you guys. And hopefully seeing the sunshine if you're up north and there might be some nasty weather. I know Oregon's getting a lot of rain right now and a lot of snow. So hopefully this can brighten your day. We want to say thank you to our Patreons, of course. And then babe, how's the merch sale competition between Huck and Pig going? Huck is still winning because he's the cutest. Pig's cute too though. Pig's cute too. I love Pig. I love Huck. If you guys are interested in some merch or becoming a Patreon and joining our first live stream that's coming up in one week, December 18th, next Sunday, there are links in the description of this video where you can do just that and we would love to have you on board. We'd love to have you rocking our merch and you can always send us a picture of that merch. We really appreciate you guys so much. So we're going to head out and hit the water and we'll pick you guys up in the next episode. Adios. Adios.